Hello, my name is Brian Murdoch and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove some of that hiss in the background if you have low quality sound equipment or just can't afford to be in a place where there is complete soundproofing. This isn't really an exact science and it's you know it's you you remove the background noise as best you can there's not really a way to remove it completely um, the best way to get good audio is to record in a soundproof environment with a nice camera or nice microphone like a directional mic or you know something like that so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my footage and place it on my timeline so in my video the audio is kind of quiet, I recorded it on a HTC Desire HD so the microphone's not great. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to turn the gain up by 15 decibels. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play back my sound with the gain up by 15 decibels and we'll see what it sounds like. Hello, my name's Brian Murdoch. I'm 25 years old from the UK and I'm going to be documenting my progress on learning guitar. As you can probably hear, there's quite a bit of background noise in my video, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the effects panel on the left and select an audio effect which is denoiser and as you can imagine it does exactly what it says on the tin and then we're going to directly drag and drop that onto our audio then in the panel next to the project window you should see four tabs that say source, effect controls, audio mixer and uh, you want to select effect controls then we want to select the denoiser in the effect control window and select the custom setting it's the little arrow next to it it brings up this like black box with uh, like two knobs on knobs <laughs> in the small window we previously opened I normally set the reduction to as far as it'll go on the minus and the offset to as high as it will go on the plus side I also added a de-hummer in my video tutorial but that's totally up to you and it, it basically works on the same you know the same idea you just have to tweak around with it really to feel out what's best for you but like I said before it's not really an exact science so there's a lot of there's a lot of guesswork involved and you can't really fully eliminate it you can just sort of dampen it down you really need to record in a soundproof environment with good equipment which as most of you will know we don't all have hello my name is brian murdoch i'm 25 years old from the uk and i'm going to be documenting my progress on learning guitar thanks for watching you can follow me on facebook and twitter and please if you like my video subscribe thank you